In this video I'm going to talk about how to set up the um, still store allocations for each of the eight input buttons uh, which uh, start off with the black button and go all the way along to the BKG button which I guess is short for background. So as in the previous video I showed you how we can um, just select a um, the still button and then select a predetermined still um, and there it is on the program row still number two and uh, but look at the previous video on the basic operation of the selecting the stills what I'm going to do here is just going to show you how to do the um, allocations of um, which still uh, from the media player uh, from the ATM media player uh, which particular still out of what what is available this is a 2ME uh, 2, uh, 2k not a 4k and it's got up to 32 uh, stills um, so any one of those 32 stills can be allocated to any one of the eight input buttons on the RMC 260 panel that's all uh, achievable through um, this uh, controller box. This is the version 2 of the uh, um, the RMC to ATM controller. Uh, so the way we do it is we uh, click the button once of course to go into the configuration um, manager and then we can then use the scroll wheel to go to um, set still cross points. Now if you don't have an ATM connected to this box uh, when you're setting it up you won't be able to get any of these menu functions that uh, are specific to the ATM including the setting of the cross points, um, the stills and then the, um, the key bus cross points, box bus cross points, um, white pattern settings um, that that one will work okay. It's only because it needs to be able to um, uh, access the names of the um, current allocated um, sources and stills and that that are available on the um, ATEM. And if the ATEM is not connected, it doesn't know what to um, what to um, call them. So here we're going to um, go set still. So we push the button once, and um, now it's displaying on the top row what the current button you have selected to change and on the bottom row the current still that's selected for that particular button so the black button has um, graphic that's the name and if you come over here and have a look at the name you'll see that it actually says graphic one these are the actual names of the files so those file names are extended all the way down to here so that you can see um, what uh, what's allocated to that button. So as I said you can allocate any of the what's available and in this case it's 32 stills because it's um, an older ATM 2ME. Um, also on the um, the diagnostic screen you can also see uh, down the bottom it's actually telling us um, that the black button has got uh, the graphic 01 name allocated to it. Um, so as I uh, turn, turn the rotary knob we can select which knob we want to adjust um, and that knob that we are adjusting um, is actually being selected on the preview row um, and subsequently uh, showing up on the preview monitor. So if I go back to that's button number two, that's button number one, if you have a look down here button number one which is black has got um, a graphic on it, button number, or button label number one, just the second button that's got graphic two, and the rest of the buttons don't have anything loaded on it yet. Um, so subsequently, um, there's nothing showing up there on the preview row. It's not until I go back to a button that's got something allocated to it, uh, it'll actually show you. Now this particular display on the preview row um, if, if that's a problem when you're in your normal operation, there's actually a menu setting, which I'm going to show you now. So I'm just going to come out of this just by doing a long press. Um, and now we're going to go, whoop, 
down to here. We're going to go all the way down near to the end. And as I said, these names are going to change as the development continues. There's a, there's a menu item here called Preview Monitor. If I press that, press the button once, you have the ability to be able to tell it to be able to show the sources on the Preview Monitor or not show the, the sources. Now in this case, I, as I'm changing the um, still uh, selections, uh, it's automatically showing me on the Preview Monitor what the still is that I'm selecting so you can quickly just visually eyeball um, the source that you want now if that's a problem in your normal operation you can actually turn that off just by turning the knob and now that's selected as off and you just press um, the button again uh, and that's done so now when we go back down to changing the stills um, it will not change the preview bus so still cross points um, and as I now turn the knob, you'll notice that the preview row is not changing. So you have the option of being able to do that. And I prefer to be always on because it's such a such a quick way of uh, being able to uh, find the stills that you want. And a little later on in this video, I'm going to show you a great little trick in operational mode um, by having that on as well. Um, but for the moment, I'm just going to go and turn that. Oh, I'm going to come out of this first. Um, let's just come and push the button and we're going to go down and just turn that back on again now this same um, monitor uh, monitor uh, selection here also applies to when you're changing the um, the actual um, cross point allocations which I showed you in a previous video if this is turned off you won't see what cross point what sources you're allocating to what button with it turned on like I've just done it there, it will show you the, um, the, the selected cross points or selected sources on the preview monitor. I didn't mention that in um, the video I made on, on that earlier uh, because it wasn't a function that was in there at the time but now it's in there. There's a lot of other things that are going to go in these spaces here that are going to um, be part of the configuration but um, as those are implemented they will be um, they will be um, videos made of them. One of them, of course, is going to be the use of the DSK button. If, oh, there it is. It's already allocated it. Uh, that one there allocates this button to be either DSK1 or DSK2. And, of course, that can also be hot changed in operation, which I haven't written that software yet, but we'll get to that. Down here, we're going back to um, key. Now we want to still point, uh, set still points. Um, I'm going to uh, now select that and now that we're in here we've got the preview bus now switching again and as I show you up here as I turn the knob it's showing you uh, the stills that I've got allocated now um, currently I have um, still um, um, the still for the black button allocated to graphic one now if I want to um, change that, I just push the button once, you'll see now up here we have the adjust indicator on um, and it's also telling us the button, the, the actual still number. So currently that's that can be 1 to 32 and that's the, no, the current name, let me put my note finger down here, that's the current name of that particular still as I show you up in here. So. As I now turn this knob, you would expect this to go to through the still names. So that's still number two. Now still number three, if you have a look up here, still number three, there's nothing allocated to it. So if I want to allocate something to that, um, first of all, uh, let's just drag a, an image in. And um, this is just using the, the Blackmagic uh, ATEM uh, control. There's a, there's a flag, um, so let's just drag that one in to say button number three for the moment. And as it loads up, you can see it's loaded up now. The um, config display um, has actually just told me now that we've just loaded a new still in. And it's telling us there that um, in still number three now, we've put a file called flag half mass. That's the name of the file. Um, and down in here, you'll notice that the name the name hasn't changed at all. 
um, but if I turn the knob back and forward it's now updated it to what it is so that's the actual name of the file this display is only 16 characters long so if anything's longer than 16 um, 16 characters it's going to chop the end off maybe one day I'll put a little thing on there you can turn the knob and it'll just show you the whole name but I don't think that's necessary at the moment um, so um, so I still haven't selected that because you can see we're still adjusting and as I turn the knob let's go back you'll see as I'm turning the knob it's going through um, the button displays um, and you'll notice up in here the preview monitor is showing the current graphic for that particular item but as I switch as I rotate the knob through all the different sources um, it's not going to change if it's not going to change the preview monitor if there is no still allocated as can be seen down here there's no stills allocated for that whole block so theoretically as I turn the knob the next one that should show up should be number 10 and in doing so I'm turning the knob turning the knob turning the knob there you go so there's number 10 and again if I turn it backwards it's not going to go and show the previous still until there's one active and there you go that's the flag and the reason it went between those two, as I said, is because all these stills along here haven't been allocated yet. So, quickly just turning through the knob here, um, you'll see it says here it's not loaded, and then all of a sudden we're going to come up across all the um, all the um, different um, stills that are loaded, and we get up to the names up in here, and these are actual still the names of the um, the file names themselves um, and as I'm turning this knob you can see those stills are changing up in there um, and and now I can turn the knob really fast and I'm turning this knob really fast so it's really going sliding down through all the different stills that are available um, now the other thing that you need to notice here is that here I am I just stopped on anyone randomly see that's that says that's that name in still number position number 12 was called graphic 12 but you notice the um, the um, preview row is just flashing because this particular still uh, is not allocated to any of these seven, uh, 10 uh, 8 buttons look at the number right in a moment so that's telling me that this particular still is not allocated to any button so it's free to um, put into a button well, to, free to put in the black button if I press enter. Um, but let's just um, let's just um, I'll just come back here a bit until I come to a still that is allocated. And there you go, it stopped flashing, and it's telling me now that that file called flag half mast, which is in still store position number three, has actually been allocated to the button number three, and conversely. Um, Graphic number two has been allocated um, to button one, and graphic number one has been allocated to the black button. Um, so let us now um, quickly go through and find, say, we're on, on um, leave that on to um, button number, black button is now allocated, so I'm going to hit now hit the um, enter button for that. I'm happy with that the uh, adjustment indicator has gone off as is the button indicator it's now displaying that button black has got graphic number one which is what it had but we haven't changed that so now I'm just going to go to say button number three and you see button number three does not have a still loaded so uh, let's go and load one so it's all we're going to do is we're going to hit the button once again we have our adjustment indicator and it's just going to um, go to whatever the last selection was here. So let's just now turn the button, turn the knob, sorry, until we get the still that we're looking for. So um, let's just go up to one of these ones up here. Um, the, um, well, there you go. There, there, let's go this one. This is an OB van, picture of an OB van I built. The one and only double story outside broadcast van ever built in the world and I designed and built it myself it cost almost a million dollars but anyhow so now I've selected that and um, you can see there it is up there 
that's um, that's still selected and it's telling me now button 3 has that particular um, uh, name button number 3, button number 2, button number 1 so they're now, now all allocated let's go and allocate say button number 4 press the enter uh, and now we can select the still for that so let's just drag up um, and um, as I'm, as again, as I'm turning the knob, um, the switch is telling me that there's no button allocated for this particular still, but the preview monitor actually has the picture. I'm just going to eyeball the picture that I want, and um, there's a young, there's a young me. Um, there's me and my daughter after she graduated, so I can go and find, um, I can go and find. Yeah, that's a picture of me and my daughter so that's the one that I want and that just so happens to be um, still position number 29 and the file name is written underneath so if I actually go and have a look at that still you see number 29 is down in here and there's the name still number 29 that's the name of the image all that information is being displayed up here but you notice that I actually eyeball that um, so that's the one we want we're just going to hit the button once it's now stored and um, and then we can go change the next lot of buttons. Um, but um, I think that's pretty pretty much straightforward. If I now come out of that just by holding down to abort um, and then holding down to abort again, we're now in normal mode. You can see the preview row here now has got um, that last still selected. So as I go to say button number one, we can get them both in focus. So these are the stills that are allocated to those. Um, and you'll see if I go to the next button, uh, this one's not allocated, so there's nothing allocated there. Um, I think that should say that should say not allocated, but anyhow. Um, so and again, and as I say, as I'm switching, I'll just go back up here. As I'm switching, you see there it is switching all the sources, and um, which is as I showed you in the normal operation. Um, now I'm just going to show you a little trick, let's just come out of um, still for the moment and let's go to any source here and um, and as I um, just come up here I'm just going to select, oh, anyway, let's go down and select mix and back up here there's our preview row and as you can see I can then dissolve through to um, the um, whatever's on the preview row but here what I want to do now is I'm going to show you quickly how we can uh, access all 32 of these stills almost instantaneously uh, using this particular setup mode um, and the way we do that is that we uh, go back into the config manager scroll down to um, the set still cross points and let's just go and find um, let's go to button number six seven button BKG which is this button here. Uh, you can you can select any button, but for this particular uh, demonstration, I'm just going to use this button here. Now it says no still loaded. So what I want to do is I'm going to go and find. Let's say we're on air and we want to access all 30 of the 32 of these stills, say for instance. So let me just go and select the first still that we want. And um, the, um, as I'm selecting, um, there's a there's a picture of me, my mate Mick. So um, that's, uh, that'll be the first still that we want to go to when we're live on air. So we're live on air, say. So um, we haven't actually got that allocated to the button yet because all the lights are flashing. So I want to allocate that to the BKG button. So that's still number 26 on the BKG button. So I'm just going to hit, um, I don't even have to hit enter for memory. I can just leave that there and then I can then do a dissolve. Um, I'll just show you that again. I'm just going to go back to where we were. So there's our live pictures. This is our still. So I can actually go do a dissolve through to that still. And then while we're on that still, um, I can then come down to here. And you can see now I can then select the next still. Let's say that's just a color wheel. And if you notice up here, we have, nothing's changed up here. And that's our next still. So I can then dissolve through to that still. 
which then flips the um, media players, flips the, the stills, and I can then come down here and I can select the next still. So you can see that um, what I'm doing here, see there's the next still, come up to here, there's the next still, I can then do my transition to the next still. Um, I'm now going to, I'm not going to show, I'm just going to then show, get the next next still ready, and then I'm going to then dissolve through to the next still. So you can see with the preview, in a preview monitor enabled in that last, in that previous setting, I can be sitting here and I can be looking, eyeballing any particular still that I want, and then I can then do the transition. And then I can then find another still that I want, and do the transition. Um, so this is using the actual configuration here, let's go to South Park people, um, I can then go through and um, just basically what I'm doing is I'm just selecting the still um, that I want out of the 32 available and then just using the transition to, to be able to then um, go to whatever still I select on here. So that's a nice little tricky quick way of accessing all 32 at any one time. Uh, and then of course when I um, when I finish uh, with that I can just come out of here for, say for instance um, it's a board out of here. You, you can you can do all this without having to do board. And then um, and then of course if I want to come back to live action I can just um, do what I did show you in the previous operation. And then I can just then come back to live action and there we are. So um, I've left a whole lot of stuff out of there, I'm pretty sure, but I think you get the idea. That's how easy it is to configure any of the 32 available stills in this particular mode. The TVS over here, the TVS only has 20. Um, maybe the next video I do on this, I'll actually hook this up to the TVS and you can see it all working on the TVS as well. Um, and but maybe even show you the 4K, which I think has got 50. 50 stills? Oh, I can't remember. Um, this should make this, this screen very interesting if you've got 50 of them up there. Um, anyhow, um, so basically, uh, any questions? Email me. Um, I'm always open for um, questions. I love questions. And um, the uh, GBG, sorry, the uh, what's it called? An RMC uh, panel um, is. Uh, the controller for the RMC panel is available now. This is the version two, which is the complete, which is the complete um, box. Version one won't be out for another four to six weeks. So I'm waiting on special components for that. Um, if you want to buy one of these now, email me, and um, uh, I've got a batch of 20, uh, which I think at this stage half of them have already been pre-ordered. So. Um, See you in the next video.